Today we're in Indianapolis, Indiana to help teach our real estate affiliates how to better serve their active veteran military members. Loans are what we do, they are not who we are. We are community servants and we are dedicated to a special part of that community today. They need to know how much we love them. Louise and Sean are so passionate about this. Louise really gives us kind of the foundation for everything, and then Sean comes back and really just brings it home. I think the big thing is to understand how to communicate to them. I grew up in the military world, but I didn't even know necessarily how to speak to them as well. Everything changed for me because I had a real estate agent that was not afraid to say, I will never understand what you went through, but I want to hear what you have to say. I feel like it's my duty to listen, and more than that, I can take it. You're not going to hurt me. I'm tough. Being unafraid to have that conversation with a veteran, you'll save lives. You'll save families. I promise you that. We have a special uh, veteran coming in who is going to get awarded a service dog. He's also going to be awarded a grant to be able to take care of that service dog for many years to come. Happy birthday, Greg. Thanks. <laughs> You get a service dog. <laughs> Let's give him a round of applause. There is one more thing. This is what the Fairway office here wanted to give you a grant of $5,000 to help you with dog food. <laughs> but American Warrior Initiative is going to round that up because I don't like four figures. And we're going to round that up to a grant of $10,000. Hey. And Louise always says, one more thing, just wait, one more thing. It always makes the room go crazy. It's awesome. Well, there's one more thing. I'd like for Mike and Deb Laird to walk up, to come on up. Their son, Gavin, he started in the Marines, transferred to the Army. He was on the list to get a service dog, but then they informed us he had moved, and he moved to another state. Well, then they informed us today he moved back. I'm not waiting for another event for Gabe to be here. We're going to give Gabe a service dog. <laughs> it's just indescribable. The, the words just are hard to come by. This is just a wonderful initiative. To us, it's the world because he needs help. And this is going to be a big, big help. I had no clue about it. It's still all, it's what they call a sticker shock. But I'm very grateful and very blessed. We are a company that wants to give back, and that's what we're trying to do here today.